Back with game two, let's talk about the teams real quick. So I do think that both Kogos are spags um, because both teams have um, Zygarde measures and uh, Tangros on Blunder's side and Clefable on Poges' side. So they can deal with Zygarde, right? Which means they can afford to run offensive Landorus. So offensive setup Lando Z move. And because I'm thinking most both Laris are Scarf, that's a Scarfer that cannot speed Volcarona at plus one. Uh, both trends are going to be Magma Storm off power and either Torn Toxic or Rock. So I'm actually thinking that it's Rock's Clef on Poges' side though. Spikes Ferro Rock's Clef. So the Lando on Poges' side has an extra move slot. So I'm thinking it's like SD3 attacks or sub SD on Poges' side. On Bonner's side, I'm not sure yet if he's Rock's trend or Rock's Lando. Um, did I miss anything else? Yeah, Mower is going to be annoying for Poges to switch into. They tend to carry Fire Thing at the moment, so Ferrothon doesn't check them well. And yeah, if his trend gets low. Um, if Trent takes any damage, it gets in range from Earthquake from Tangrose. So we do see they both got up rocks, Blunder got up rocks on, and Poges switched to Clef. Blunder got an SD as Poges also got his rocks up. The thing is, um, Skystroke pretty much gets a kill here because Poges' Skystroke resists are Heechan and Tapu Koko. And number one, they don't switch in well into plus one Skystrike. Number two, Clefable is not too valuable in this matchup, so I think he should just sack it because Tangrose knocks off the Clefable, right? Uh, Coco overpowers it with Specs T Bolt. Lando overpowers it with SD even after it uses the Z move. Mobile um, beats it with SD or just with Play Rough. And Heatran, if it has Taunt, also beats it. And so the only thing that Clef beats is Ladi. Or potentially Tren if Tren doesn't have Taunt. So if I'm Poges, I would just sack the Clef. I think I disconnected because you guys can see the Smog just chat is not moving. Let me pause real quick and be right back. Okay, we are back. We're gonna rewatch the turns that we missed. Skystruck is just gonna kill the Clefable. Poaches is gonna go to his own landers. He's gonna be able to check Blunder's land pretty easy since he used the Z move. So I think Blunder's gonna switch. Switches into Specs Coco most likely because HBS can threaten it off. Um, Poaches does reveal subs and Blunder's not gonna stay in because Coco can definitely put in work in this game after the Pharaoh Stone gets weakened. So he goes in the Lottie. Poaches just plays it safe, but the thing is, he can just uh, go for Skystruck and get a kill. On the Lottie, as the Lottie breaks the sub with Psy Shock. So Blunder's gonna be able to go back into his Specs Coco Scare of Poges. Uh, so Poges is either gonna go Ferrothorn here or I expect Blunder to stay in. He expects Blunder to stay in. <laughs> Goes for SD. So Blunder's gonna have to switch here into his own Landris on the fly, most likely, and it's gonna take a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually kills. It barely doesn't kill. So I think this is a speed tie. So Poges is gonna fly up here as well. Wait, so whoever loses the speeder here is in a better position. I think it was a tie, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, now Blunder's gonna go back to Coco, get it off. And I think Poges is gonna keep this around because it can, Blender can still put in some work. Not 100% sure why Blunder doubled into Heatian instead of just Volt switching. Um, but yeah, now he's just gonna Magma Storm. I assume Poges is gonna switch into either Tren or Ladi. Um, he goes Lottie, so he's either like has Trick to Cripple the Heatran or he has Surf. So Blana should switch out here. Heatran can definitely put him work. He goes on a Tangrose on the Surf. So Blana can either go for a knockoff here or if he predicts the Landros, he can also go for Giga Drain. He did go, okay, he went into Heatran. So I assume he predicted um, Poaches to go into Ferrothorn. Blana's obviously forced out. Uh, goes in a Tangrose, Poges SDs up, so Blunder should switch back into Heatran here expecting the Fly, because Fly is a charge move so it doesn't work immediately. Like basically he has to Fly first and now Heatran can eat up the Fly, he cannot go for Earthquake because he's already in the air and now Magma Storm can kill the land if it connects. Thankfully it does connect for Blunder, so Specs Coco is gonna come out here for Poges and I assume he's uh, it's just gonna Volt Switch because the Tangrose is super obvious and Heatran can still put in work, so Blunder should keep Heatran around, right? And yeah, after Volt Switch and Rocks, I think this is in the right this is in range uh, from Magma Storm. So um, I would off power here if I'm Poges because the Tangros is like really nice for Blunder. It can knock off the Tangros, it can pretty much check the Ladi and the Coco. So there's no point uh, in sacking the Tangros for Blunder. So I would just go hard for off power here. Because um, if Heatran comes out on a Magma Storm, then it's a potential speed tie on the next turn. And I wouldn't want to risk that if I'm Poges, I would just hard off power, knowing that Heatran is coming out here 100%. Like I said, Tangle is just too valuable, he's never staying in. Heatran does come out, let's see if he breeds that. He does just play it safe. Um, let's see if Poges can win the speed tie here with off power. Actually, he got leftovers first, so maybe it's not even the speed tie. We don't know that confirmed, but yeah, now Blunder is going to go to Specs Coco. And most likely Volt Switch expecting the the Pharaoh Thorn. The thing is, um, yeah, exactly. I was about to say 
Fo just maybe wants to keep his Ferrothorn healthy for the, for the Morwell, I guess. But if the Morwell is uh, Fire Fang, it doesn't even matter. So Poja is not going to go to Heatran. Uh, Heatran can live an Earthquake from this range, but he does miss Magma Stone. That's really unfortunate. Magma Stone wouldn't have Oakled, but it would have 2 hit KO'd the, Pharaoh, the Tangros. So now Tangros can just click Knock Off. And Tangros is still alive. And I think Blunder wins now. So that, that hex sucked. Because um, now Tang um, Tangros can switch out and get Regenerator back. Um, I think he's just gonna suck his Coco here. He's gonna regen back and then he's gonna be able to win with this Tangrose. Um, so like Blunder is gonna suck his Coco here, I assume. I don't know if uh, T-Bolt would have killed the, the Tang guaranteed or if it would have been a roll, but yeah, Blunder's just gonna click off quick here. And if it's more while it has Fire Thing as well, Blunder's in a really good position. Yeah. I think uh, Poe just had the game if the uh, Magma Storm didn't miss on the Tangros. But what can you do at Mons? This this stuff just happens. Yeah, Blunders has no reason not to Earthquake here. Like if Poe just goes into um, no Ferrothorn. Um, like Banner doesn't lose much from quaking anyway. He can just either knock off next turn or switch into Morwell if he has Fire Fang next turn. But yeah, he just um, probably just sacks his Coco. I mean, oh, I'm surprised that lived actually. Oh yeah, never mind. He will only just 26. So earlier, I think Poe just like when earlier the Tangles was at 35. I think Poe just knew that. Um, I think he breaked the Banner to maybe go into Morwell earlier when he T bolted. But yeah, this game is over. He gets a spike. That doesn't matter and. I assume he either has knockoff or Fire Fang. I mean, since they already said GG, he probably has Fire Fang. And he probably already connected it. And so Blunder takes the series 2 0. Thank you guys for watching. Blunder moves on to top 8 of Smog playoffs. Um, stay tuned for way more S2 playoffs. Um, pretty much every series is going to be coming live to you. Have a fantastic day. Smash the like button if you want to see more. And hope you all enjoyed. Peace out, friends.